dignitaries on the dais, media persons, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here for the inauguration of Odisha Tourism Conclave 2017. I'd like to congratulate the Hotel and Restaurant Association of Odisha for organizing such an important event to promote, support, and coordinate the effort of tourism industry stakeholders and partners. There is no need to tell before this August gathering how incredibly important our tourism industry is, but it is important on what we need to do to make the most of it. Occasions such as this has immense importance as it gives a vibrant platform to deliberate on various key features for a thriving tourism industry. For too long, tourism has been low down on the service sector. In fact, tourism is a fiercely competitive market requiring skills, talent, and enterprise. It is fundamental to the rebuilding and re rebalancing of our economy. It is one of the best and fastest ways of generating the jobs that we need so badly. Tourism has become one of the major players in the international trade and commerce and represents one of the prime sources of income for many nations. Travel and tourism play an extensive role in stimulating economic sectors such as transport, food, accommodation, entertainment, handicrafts, shopping, wellness, healthcare, and education. This is the case with the state of Odisha. The state has so much to be proud of and so much to show off to the rest of the world. It has the potential to compete with any place on the earth because of its strategic location and art and culture. The beauty of nature in Odisha is equally fascinating with the beauty of art and culture. The state has many historic monuments Temples, beautiful beaches, a rich art and culture showcasing the brilliant of artists and artisans, enchanting natural beauty, fascinating fairs and festivals. This leave viewers wondering on exquisite sculpture, design and architecture developed long years back. Over the years, the tourism industry in Odisha has grown significantly. As regards development of tourism products, the government has embarked upon a range of initiatives in areas including ecotourism and heritage tourism. These initiatives have focused both on introducing new attractions and improving existing ones. The government is fully committed to develop policies that will make Odisha a more tourist-friendly destination. Among its top priorities are convenience of tourists and travel facilitation. With the air connectivity to Malaysia, the South Asian country, and focus on exploring ways to connect with other countries in near future, the state hopes to facilitate the travel of more tourists to Odisha. One message which has been particularly loud and clear is that in Odisha, there is a lot more scope for exploiting the state's unique cultural heritage in further developing its attractiveness to visitors. The more vibrant will be tourism sector, more it will be more beneficial to the state in terms of benefiting, benefiting the economy and in providing direct and indirect employment. I would like to stress upon mentioning efforts to promote better services quality, to complement improvements in physical attractions. On marketing, it is a vital component of tourism industry. As part of stepping up promotions in key destinations, campaigns should be designed and conducted to show overseas markets in vibrance and diversity of experience that this state offers. It is important to harness the link between heritage and tourism. Green groups have to be called for more to be done to preserve our environment 
and to promote a green side of our country life. Those interested in cultural activities and the performing arts have also come forward to stress the potential in these areas. But tourism is about more than economics. You should be proud of your potential and what the state has to offer. The state has in coming days an unprecedented opportunity to take tourism industry to a whole new level. Adding to the world famous card festival, many more exciting things are going to happen in the state in the coming days with holding of so many big international supporting sporting events like Asian Athletics Championship, Men's World Hockey League Final, and Men's Hockey World Cup 2018. This will surely put the state at the center stage of the world. Tourism should be promoted as it is one of the key drivers of the economy and it is also a great bearing on other sectors. It alters the lifestyles of people and make broadening of outlook. It is strongly felt that more focused approach and right marketing strategies are very much needed to showcase tourism potential. From the tourism perspective, this conclave holds immense importance. It provides a useful opportunity to take stock of what you have and where you stand, as well as to share the experience of other jurisdictions. This annual activity by the organizers has a focus on tourism development, pulling together the diverse interests in the industry. I have fascinated at the amount of interest and the level of concern in matters that concern the tourism industry. I'm sure the conclave will significantly help in broadening your horizon by strengthening your appeal to various visitors who'd love going on holiday in Odisha. I once again congratulate the organizers for their role in the overall tourism development of Odisha. As such, I believe there is no better time than now for Odisha to take full advantage of the next wave of growth with the creation of meaningful and high value products accompanied by excellence in service quality. I have no doubt that the tourism industry in the state will be able to attract greater number of tourists willing to visit Odisha for a first-hand experience. I look forward to seeing the tourism industry soaring higher in the coming years benefited to a great way by productive and fruitful deliberations at the conclave. I believe that with resilience, innovation, better quality and excellent service standards, tourism industry will be a major contributor and drive the state economy forward. Thank you, Jai Hind.